Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a quick look at the more advanced filtering that you can do in the logical editor to combine filters together to do more advanced things. So in this case what we're going to be doing is looking at a couple of drum patterns which we've got here. So just open that up and you can see fairly standard but nicely programmed drum parts. So we've got a bit of variation in velocities etc. But we're going to do something specific to them so use them as a vehicle for that so if i open up the uh, logical editor what we want to do is on the first beat in this case of the bar we want to accent just the hi-hat nothing else but just to make those hi-hats louder now yes you could open up the drum editor and just click that and then click that etc but if you've got 95 bars etc or you want to do something more complicated again misery this is a quicker way to do it if you've got anything more than just a facile example so really we're looking at the filter section here that's the uh, the important part now we're going to stay with type is equal to note but we're actually going to narrow that down a bit more so we're not just going to look at any old note we want specifically the closed hi-hat which we can see over here is f sharp one so we're going to add another line here for a note value one is pitch so we pick value one it tells you pitch and then it's equal to and then we have f sharp one so i'm going to hit the note on my keyboard but you could just click and drag to move it in or type it in etc but remember this is an important gotcha with this okay when it starts out you see that it was on c uh, minus two okay and that is not c2 that's c minus two so that's two octaves below c0 so that's like the lowest note so make sure uh, you don't get tripped up by that which uh, many people have in the past so that would select as we see here that would select all of the hi-hats so if we apply that you can see they all get selected so that would be reasonably useful in some things um, but we want to go a little deeper than that actually what we want to do is to select only the ones at the beginning of the bar and that's combining something which we saw before which is bar range so we're going to click add and then put position and then in this case the condition is going to be inside bar range and we're just going to have it in that first sixteenth so just that there and then if we click apply we can see that one does that there now here we've got a problem it's the problem we had before so let's try a different way because that hi-hat there is just a tiny bit before the beat and if we zoom in we can see why you can see look it's just a little bit before we have to really extremely zoom in to see that you may not have that if you've got all your notes quantized that probably won't be a problem so there's two ways we can approach this which is what i wanted to look at today the first one is we can do uh, outside bar range then highlight basically everything but what we had before click apply and we can see now that picks those two up but there is a different way we can approach that as we're going to see in a minute so for this one that would be fine we're going to do that and now what we want to do is add something to the velocity now we're going to do this a little more subtly than we did before as well so for a note value 2 is velocity so we pick value 2 and we've got different operations here now what we want to do is we don't want to set a random value okay we want to set a random value based on the note or the value that was already there and that's when you want this one if we do set random values between it will be absolute and it won't really help so what we want to do is set relative random values between so it's going to start off with what was there before and then add something to it randomly so here we want to boost it but we want to boost it by a, a random amount so let's say we're going to go between 15 and 25 so it's going to add that amount so between 15 and 25 to the original value and if we click apply once I've changed it to select so sorry changed it to transform so if we click apply now we see it does it okay now it's done those slightly differently now this isn't something we can repeat if we do that again it will just keep adding to them um, which would probably be too much but it's done those randomly so that's useful for that that's a good way to do that you can add an accent to any part of the drum kit or any particular note in any melodic part etc just doing that kind of thing okay so that's the first stage now we're going to do something a little more complicated to this second one so i will just move this over a bit so we can see it there 
So in this case here, what we want to do is add it to the ones which fall on the beat. Okay, so this gets more complicated. So what we will do is we're going to add in a bar range to capture that, capture that around each beat. So I'm going to change this position one to inside bar range. And now I'm just going to do this first one there. And I'm going to go back to select, see if we're working properly. You can see that's got those first ones, but we want to add in beat two. So we're going to add another line, which is again going to be position and inside bar range. But this time it wants to be centered around beat number two. And if we do that there and you click apply, it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because of this column here, which is the Boolean column, the and, etc. So what we want, there's no way for it to be in this position and this position at the same time. It's not Schrodinger's hi-hat. It's definitely in one position or the other. So what we need to do is to change this to an or, okay? And you might want to put brackets around these as well. So you can see we've got brackets which we can have in these columns. And let's put one around there. And we're going to finish that. So you may remember this from school. So we've got type is equal to no and pitch is equal to that in one set of brackets. And then it's either in this bar range or that bar range. And if we click apply now, we can see ah they get selected and then we would do the same for the next one click on the last one and then add it there so position is inside bar range and then this one's going to be around beat three so it's going to be uh there just make that a little wider and again that's going to be or in this column here we can see that selected those and then we want to do the same again for beat four. So we click on the last one and again change it to position inside bar range. And then this one's going to be around there. Change that to or. And now you can see we're selecting any of them that fall on the beat, but not anything which falls outside there. And again, we'll, we'll add, add a bit less. So let's add between five and 15 in this case we'll change it to transform now that we know our filter works and then we'll click apply and you see that they get increased so that's just going to accent the beats and uh, take the accent away from the off beats okay so here obviously we've done this to the drums but we've we've looked at a, a quite important concept with this which is with more complicated uh, filters you can end up needing to use or because sometimes you want it to be multiple different uh, things all of which can't be true but if any of them are true then you want it to pass through the filter so often the the time that i need to use this is when it's uh, in different parts of the bar that i want to select and obviously it can't be in multiple parts of the bar at the same time so we need or around those and then that will allow that to work so it's either beat one or beat two, or beat three, or beat four, but it must be a hi-hat note, and then it gets selected. So that's more advanced filtering, and as you can see, if we'd just done this in the first video, it would have been a bit complicated, but once you look at this and break it down into separate steps, hopefully you can understand it and then make use of it, because obviously this would allow you, as I've been banging on about throughout all these videos, this would allow you to apply that to the entire part all the way through and would take, in this case, the original velocity values and just add some subtle act accenting to them. So it means it doesn't destroy the integrity of everything you've done. And if you've gone through and programmed some interesting velocity changes, etc., they will be kept, but it will just add to them and mean that your parts will be much more musical and hopefully uh, well, they will be better programmed, but hopefully they will work much better and sound, if you want that, they will sound more human.